Realtors, this is Lindsay Hutto, your Chief Advocacy Officer at SCR. I'm coming to you live from the State House today to give you a recap of the 2024 legislative session. The legislature has officially adjourned sine die and completed the second year of the legislative session. This session marks the end of the 125th meeting of the General Assembly. Any bill that did not pass this session or last session will have to start over in January at the beginning of a new two-year session. Even though we've officially adjourned sine die, we're not quite done yet. Lawmakers will return to Columbia in June after the primaries to finalize the state budget and take up any legislation in conference committees. So this year came with its challenges. It was the end of a two-year session, an election year, and things were pretty heated between the bodies at times. However, I'm happy to announce that even in this environment, we were able to pass significant pieces of legislation on our priority agenda. First off, H 4754, South Carolina Real Estate License Law Update. This legislation modernizes the Practice Act to keep up with current technology and industry trends and increases consumer protection by addressing nationwide issues impacting the industry. The key areas that this legislation impacts include modernization, better governance, industry changes, and consumer protection. Guarding modernization. This legislation will allow for internet and social media marketing of other brokerages listed properties so long as the listing brokerage and the seller authorize it and the listing brokerage is given credit. This legislation will also acknowledge the increase of AI in the real estate industry and explain the responsibility on licensees who use it. Regarding better governance, this legislation eliminates distinctions in the existing statute which give non-resident licensees preferential treatment and a lower barrier to entry than resident licensees. This legislation will also require brokers in charge to attend any disciplinary hearings involving one of their associated licensees. Regarding industry changes, this legislation will require real estate teams to have the word team in their name. Any advertising a team does must also have the name of the brokerage firm be at least half the size and frequency as the team's name. These changes will have a 36 month implementation period. This legislation also addresses individual real estate licensees who will be required to have the full name of the brokerage firm in all advertising, including advertising of their services that is not tied to a particular property. These changes will have a 12 month implementation period. Regarding consumer protection, this legislation will outlaw unfair service agreements. No agreements regarding residential real estate can be in effect for more than one year. This legislation will prohibit real estate licensees from participating in the practice of wholesaling. The legislation defines wholesaling and clarifies the difference between marketing a real property and marketing a contractual position. This legislation also changes broker in charge requirements. In order to become a broker in charge, you will need five years of experience, which is an increase from three years of experience that was in current law. This legislation addresses delivery of trust funds. Licensees are required to make sure trust funds are delivered even if the funds are held by a law firm. SER has worked tirelessly with the South Carolina Real Estate Commission on this legislation to ensure more consumer protection and promote professionalism and accountability in the industry. For a more in-depth look at these changes from our legal team, please make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash screaltors. Next up on our legislative wins, S881, regarding the prohibition of unfair service agreements. This legislation prohibits the recording of unfair service agreements and deems them unfair if they meet certain criteria like running with a property or creating a lien or encumbrance. S881 will prohibit the recording of these agreements in property records. The legislation will also provide legal remedies to consumers allowing the ability to recover damages, costs, and attorney's fees from service providers who engage in predatory practices. This law will ensure that South Carolinians seeking to sell their home can do so in the time and manner that they choose and not be bound by predatory agreements that can last a generation. Next up, S1021 regarding the South Carolina Abandoned Buildings Revitalization Act. This legislation extends the current December 31st, 2025 tax credit sunset to December 31st, 2035. The legislation also increases the credit from 500,000 to 700,000. This legislation is a huge win for commercial brokers across our state to make sure that the credit stays in line with inflation. And finally, H3278 regarding real estate appraisers. This legislation ensures compliance with federal requirements and provides clarity in the statute regarding appraisal management companies. 
This bill is a huge win for SCR because it ensures that realtors are able to perform property evaluations, specifically BPOs, broker price opinions, or CMAs, comparative market analysis. So that's a wrap for the 2024 session. Stay tuned for updates as we begin to identify issues that matter most to our industry as we prepare for the 2025 session. I'd like to thank the Legislative Committee and Chair Brian Kiner for all of their hard work and guidance this session. And as always, I'd like to thank you all for entrusting me to represent you at the State House and for your continued support and dedication to the industry. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you all next session.